how would you feel about having the ability to become a superhuman? According to Elon Musk, a chip implanted in the brain is the way to go. Using Neuralink technology, Musk has already implanted chips in the brains of animals, and now he plans to do the same with human subjects. What's Neuralink? What does Musk want to achieve with Neuralink? And how will he implant the device in human brains? Join us as we explore Musk's human Neuralink testing. We've all had those times when we can use a little more mental horsepower to do something like finish a particularly challenging homework assignment, juggle a few more tasks at once, or speed read through a few more chapters of a textbook. What if we could experience a renewal of our brains, or if we could simply add additional processing capability like adding memory to a computer? For decades, filmmakers' creative imaginations have teased us with these exciting ideas. Humans in science fiction often undergo transformations, such as a cranial upgrade, which gives them more capabilities. However, a business genius and rich inventor may make those movies a reality sooner than you think. Elon Musk is the guy because of his undeniable brilliance. Musk took up Neuralink as a means of doing something most would consider being impossible. The company's long-term goal is to develop implantable devices that enable direct brain-computer interaction. The question remains though, what is Neuralink? Before discussing how Musk introduces it into the human brain, we shall investigate this further. To place Neuralink, neurosurgeons will use robotic technology to enter the brain. During this process, a chipset known as the link is surgically placed in the brain. A bunch of insulated wires goes from the electrodes to the power source. Without touching the screen, this gadget can control a computer or smartphone. Thanks, Musk, for being willing to do something others won't even consider. This is the same guy who advocates for a permanent Martian population. Some may question the morality or ethics of such a concept, but Musk is unconcerned about such reservations in light of the potential advantages of a neurological connection. What is the procedure? Musk compared the brain's neural circuits to the wire, implying that an electrical device would be required to resolve the issue. That's a really simplistic analysis. You'll find all the information you'll need about the brain and how it operates. Neurons in the brain relay information to other cells in the body, such as muscle nerve glands and other neurons. The dendrite, the soma, or cell body, and the axon make up the three main components of any neuron. The dendrite takes in the information. The soma then processes it, and the axon then sends it out to the other cells. Synapses link the neurons and are where neurotransmitters are released, allowing the communication between the cells. A release of these chemicals at the apex of one neuron's dendrite causes a current to pass to the next neuron in the network. Multiple neurons will send out electrical impulses, which will be read by the Neuralink electrodes. Those impulses are subsequently sent to the muscles to produce an action, like walking or raising a hand. In order to correctly detect brain impulses, the Neuralink device must be implanted in the brain rather than in the skull. Musk claims it can be charged wirelessly and operates with pinpoint precision. The primary purpose of neural connection has previously been explained. It facilitates communication between the human brain and technological devices. A certain group of individuals stands to gain from something, yet it has a wide range of potential uses. Individuals who are paralyzed and unable to use their limbs may utilize Neuralink to access electronic devices, such as phones and computers, just by thinking about doing so. People with cognitive impairments, such as those caused by Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's, will benefit from this. People with serious spinal injuries may also benefit from this treatment, allowing them to regain mobility. Neuralink may help those who have trouble forming words. It can pick up brainwaves and transmit them to a smartphone, where they may be translated into spoken language. Additionally, using the neural connection, you can play video games without touching a controller, manage heavy equipment with your thoughts, and even create artwork and snap photos, and so forth. Neuralink's potential is boundless, and new uses will undoubtedly emerge in the future. Musk founded the firm in 2016 and provides most of the capital. Since then, Neuralink has advanced significantly, with successful testing in at least 19 species of animals. Musk refers to the process of setting up a Neuralink connection as getting the link, and it's really simpler than it sounds. Without anesthesia, the robot can do the procedure in under an hour. After the electrodes have been implanted in the brain, there will be no blood and simply a little scar as a reminder of the operation. You may easily hide the link in your hair or beneath a hat, roughly the size of a huge coin. 
Musk has successfully shown Neuralink on three swine. His team has successfully planted Neuralink in three pigs, which they use as a demonstration. The pigs' names were Joyce, Gertrude, and Dorothy. The sole reason that Joyce was included was so that viewers could see the behavior of a pig without an implant. Dorothy also had an implant during that time, while Gertrude wore hers for two months. If Dorothy had her Neuralink removed, it would show that animals can function normally without it. Gertrude was the star attraction. The audience could see her brain activity in real time as it was broadcast from her 1024 electrode Neuralink implant on a screen. And there were beeps too, when Gertrude's pig brain was stimulated in a way that matched her snout sniffing. More in accordance with scientists' preferred test animals, monkeys were used in the second major demo of Neuralink. In the United States alone, researchers utilize about 70,000 of them. Seeing the monkey pager engage in some kind of mental game made the demonstration that much more interesting. Getting a monkey to play a game is no small feat, but Musk's team succeeded in doing just that with a pager. Musk tweeted his admiration. The monkey uses a brain chip to play a video game through telepathy. A nine-year-old macaque monkey with not one, but two Neuralink devices implanted in his brain was the subject of a three-minute film produced by Neuralink, the part of the brain responsible for controlling the movement of the arms and hands. Pager's first video game experience was using a joystick. Page's hand motions were predicted in real time by a decoder algorithm based on cerebral activity captured by the connected device while he engaged with a computer. The monkey learned to direct the pointer to his desired location without using the joystick. The narrator elaborated on Musk's claims that Neuralink had been proven effective in studies with monkeys. Company officials have assured us that it is secure and dependable. Now that Neuralink has been successfully tested on animals, Musk is ready to go on to try it on people. Let's be honest, here is where things become more intricate. Since it requires connecting pre-existing signals, restoring brain processes is a prime candidate. Humans compared to animals can express their emotions via language. Thus, Musk thinks Neuralink will advance more quickly if it is developed for them. Amazingly, there is currently a need for Neuralink to aid loved ones who are fighting several health issues. Jeremy has asked Elon Musk when Neuralink implants would begin because he hopes it would assist their partner, who is experiencing memory loss and delusions. Jeremy claims that the damaged region of the brain can be easily replaced. Musk thinks Neuralink will be quite useful in 25 years. Musk believes that by then, we will have achieved a complete brain interface that will allow symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. True cyborgs are becoming a reality in his eyes. This individual is now prepared to begin human Neuralink implantation. Initially, he is interested in helping tetraplegics and quadriplegics who have suffered serious spinal cord injuries. He again emphasizes that those unable to walk or use their arms may regain mobility with the help of modern technology. Human brain chip implant experiments have an exceedingly high hurdle before being approved by the Food and Drug Administration. That, however, is not an issue for Musk and his team. Musk has said that he has stricter guidelines for human brain implant procedures than the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. Also, his safety requirements are significantly more stringent than those of the United States government.